Good morning. I am outside Galleons Reach Station in the Docklands, uh, here to tell you about the DLR extension to Thamesmead, a project which is very likely to happen. So in this video, I'll tell you about the locations uh, of the extension, the funding that it needs, and who or what this will benefit. So the proposed extension to Thamesmead would branch out of the DLR after Galleons Reach, following the track used to take rolling stock towards the depot and stop at a new station at Beckton Riverside, before crossing the River Thames through a newly bored tunnel and finishing at the new Thamesmead Central Station on the other side of the river. This extension would improve transportation in that area by connecting Thamesmead to central London faster and developing the area with 25 to 30,000 potential new homes being built along the route. It's estimated that this could create 10,000 new jobs and in turn bring economic growth. This would help the environment as well by decreasing car dependency in the area. The closest station to Thamesmead is Plumstead on Thameslink Rail, so the area would largely benefit commuters heading into London and open up opportunities for more people to work in the Docklands. Something else was also proposed in the form of a bus route, a potential service from Woolwich Station to Abbey Wood Station via Thamesmead, which will most likely open much earlier before the potential extension does. If we look back 21 years, there was once a proposal made to extend the DLR to Dagenham Dock, which was cancelled by Boris Johnson back when he was Mayor of London because of financial constraints. Back to the DLR extension, even Andy Lord, Commissioner of Transport for London, who I met this year at Pride in London, confirmed that Transport for London would like to proceed with the extension. He said this at the recent unveiling of the new B23 DLR trains. There's a video about those in the corner right now. However, it has been confirmed that funding is not in place yet and that the extension, along with additional trains for a 5 trains per hour service, would cost around £800 million and would take many years to build before it opened. So I hope that you learned all you wanted to know about this proposed extension. If I haven't answered some of your questions, there are some links in the description below to websites that I think you should check out if you want to find out some more in-depth information. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this extension, so I'll be starting a conversation down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, press subscribe and like. Have a good day. Bye.